impressive attempt at uh, Don Smith uh, device replication. Uh, picked up a few components, made a few components, uh, still really do not have any success. Uh, I've been following some of the other folks that have posted up on YouTube. Sadly, uh, most of the time we see things operating, but we don't get a clear explanation about what parts and components are involved. So this is after a lot of research. I've picked up a few different uh, items to try to make this come through. First, uh, and I'm going to run through them a little bit uh, at a time here. The very first is that I picked up this uh, Varactor. This is just running off of uh, AC current from the wall, 110 volts. It uh, will modify that current and then send it into the neon transformer. Now, this, this neon transformer, tube transformer, or NST as it's described, is rated at uh, 15,000 volts, 60 hertz. Now, in most of Don's uh, videos, he doesn't really have a Varactor here. He has a DC converter, which basically takes a 12 volt battery charge, steps it up to the 110 AC, and then feeds it into a smaller uh, neon supply uh, transformer, NST. Now, from that, I've also um, purchased some uh, microwave capacitors. Um, these are from Radio Shack. They are N1007 uh, uh, blocking diodes. Um, so far this is somewhat unsuccessful for me also. Um, this is just some uh, copper coil from the hardware. This is the infamous uh, Don uh, speaker wire. It's multi-strand copper wire. We have a center tap. These are some capacitors I purchased but haven't put to use yet. And these are the bottle capacitors that I constructed. They consist basically of a piece of tin foil wrapped around the outside, aluminum foil that is, wrapped around the outside of a Snapple bottle. Uh, I've cut a piece of rod and inserted it into some water to which I've added a little bit of salt. One wire uh, is connected to the aluminum foil which is here covered up with duct tape for safety's sake and uh, the two capacitors are tied together. One for whatever reason has a slightly more discolored water than the other one. Um, I've been meaning to play with these a little bit more but uh, it was suggested in many of the videos so I built a couple out of some Snapple bottles because frankly I like Snapple. Uh, okay so from there uh, this coil is my L1 coil. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this is a uh, 16 gauge wire. Okay. I've also tried to use, uh, recycled basically from another experiment. This is 22 gauge magnet wire. I actually had a little better results with this as far as voltage goes, but uh, again, nothing of any significance. So the theory here, let me back up a bit, and then I've been following uh, uh, Kurt's design, which he was good enough to post on the web earlier. Um, you can see that he has the uh, Neon Supply Transformer going to some diodes with some uh, uh, basic spark gaps in there, which is what we've attempted to construct here. However, the minute I hook both of these diodes into the same power supply, which then heads up and around to the uh, base of the capacitor, which I, I think we can't see it here, but perhaps we can from a different angle. Yeah, there we go. Um, which then follows to the base of both of these capacitors. And of course it comes around out the capacitor uh, from one to the other. And then the other wire follows along. Down, 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 down. And comes to here and goes to the other part of the L1 coil. The wires are just kind of dangling off here, but... That's where they're heading to, okay? They're heading over here. 
Now, uh, we should have power basically coming then from um, both, although it's only going to one, it's basically coming from one, coming out from the other. Capacitor should be raising the voltage or storing it in some fashion and then sending it into the L1 coil, which is to generate the L2 coil. Then you're supposed to be getting your power generated from here, from the two end taps. One there, one here, which you can't see, and then from the center tap. And the center tap also has a ground wire. This ground wire runs literally outside to the ground to a steel pole driven to the ground approximately a foot. So, so far, uh, no meaningful results. When I did replace this with these microwave capacitors, I got a much stronger spark out of the plug here. And incidentally, I guess I might as well demonstrate that at least that part is working. Get a little noise here. But again, if I... Uh, I'm getting nothing out of the coil here. So if anyone could help me and assist me with any suggestions as to how to advance this uh, particular project, it would be most appreciated. Um, I simply know enough to be dangerous, obviously, because this is high voltage stuff, but I would appreciate any input that you may be able to provide me. And I'd like to give a big thanks to Kurt because he's been very helpful so far in sharing information with me. So thanks very much, and I hope everyone enjoys their afternoon. Go Lions!